The International Islamic Unity Conference is held annually in Tehran. The conference brings together Shia and Sunni scholars and intellectuals from around the world. On Sunday, Iran's Islamic Revolution leader, Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei, addressed Iranian officials and foreign participants at the 35th International Islamic Unity Conference in Tehran. Ayatollah Khamenei emphasized the importance of unity. He stated that the reason for his repeated emphasis on this issue is the large divide that exists across faiths, with enemies attempting to increase it. Ayatollah Khamenei warned that the U.S. tries to sow discord among Muslims by erasing the issue of Sunni and Shia. Both Shia and Sunnis agree on most of the fundamental beliefs and practices of Islam. Their bitter divide goes back some 14 centuries. It began with disagreement about who should succeed the Prophet Muhammad as the leader of Islamic faith, but the two have coexisted despite the differences. Ayatollah Khamenei further said, unity among Muslims is a principle command by the Holy Quran and not a tactic dictated by circumstances. He added that a novel Islamic civilization can only be established when Shia and Sunni Muslims converge in a united front. In his speech, Ayatollah Khamenei also said that Palestine serves as the top criteria for unity in the Muslim world. <laughs> عمده برای اتحاد مسلمین مسئله فلسطین مسئله فلسطین شاخص اگر چنانچه اتحاد مسلمین تحقق پیدا بکند قضیه فلسطین قطعا به بهترین وجه حل خواهد شد هر چه ما در قضیه فلسطین جدیت بیشتری به خرج بدهیم Ayatollah Khamenei criticized certain regional states for normalizing relations with Israel, calling the approach sinful and wrong. متاسفانه بعضی از دولت‌ها خطا کردند، خطای بزرگی کردند و گناه کردند و عادی سازی کردند با رژیم غاصب و ظالم صهیونیستی این ضد حرکت ضد وحدت اسلامی و ضد اتحاد اسلامی است باید برگردن از این را باید برگردن این خطای بزرگ رو بایستی جبران بکنن Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates signed the U.S. brokered Abraham Accords at the White House in 2020 to normalize ties with the occupying Israeli regime Morocco and Sudan later signed normalization agreements with Israel as well. Daesh has maintained a foothold in eastern and northeastern Afghanistan following the United States' hasty withdrawal from the country, which led to the collapse of the Afghan government and the Taliban takeover in mid-August. Daesh has claimed responsibility for several attacks against the Taliban recently. It has also targeted Shias in Syria and Iraq in the past. Iran's leader, Ayatollah Khamenei, touched on the U.S. attempt to incite unrest among Islamic countries through its proxies. Ayatollah Khamenei blamed the U.S. for a recent wave of terrorist attacks by Daesh targeting Shia Muslim mosques in Afghanistan. That killed scores of people. Masjid Mardom Musalman ro dar hal namaz ro munfajir kardan. Ki munfajir mikone Daesh? Daesh kiye? Daesh hamun majmuayi is ke Amerika ya hamin guruh demokrat Amerika. Sarihan goftan ki irama be wujud awardi. Ayatollah Khamenei said one method to prevent such incidents is for present Afghan leaders to visit Shia centers and mosques and urge Sunni Muslims to join interreligious congregations. Yes. I mean, it's very clear that the U.S. has always been backing uh, these uh, mercenary terrorist networks such as the Daesh. 
and it serves their cause as long as the Muslim uh, Ummah has this unity and there's this sedition and this hatred uh, that is uh, being uh, bred inside the Islamic world then they can uh, easily control the region, take over the resources, build their bases, and uh, you know secure their puppets that they have installed in place. Ayatollah Khamenei urged Islamic countries to set aside their differences and to stress that unity among Muslims will create synergy and strengthen them in interacting with non-Islamic countries.